Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome to a game of League of Legends. Just playing by myself for now for today, I thought I'd give you just a recording video. I know, very strange. Usually I'm just up uploading like clips from live streams or whatever, but I had some time spare. I thought, why not just record a video for you guys? So we're playing Silas. Um, I've gone Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Tenacity... Who... The one where you're low on health, you do more damage. That one. Um, and then Revitalize and Conditioning, I believe. The second one. And we're up against a Swain. So you know what that means? With Revitalize plus my W, and I'm going to be buying a Spirit Visage because AP, 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 AP. You know? So I just have to. My healing with Swain Alt is going to be absolutely insane. And just in time. There we go. New buffs to Guardian Orb. 50 ability power, so it's actually better than just building the original Lost Chapter. Uh, you get 150 health for that as well. You don't get the ability haste, but I think it is just an amazing starting item now over going um, Lost Chapter. You miss out on mana, but you do get mana regen. I think it's probably just better. Because you can just afford a tier alongside it. And then happy days. Anyway. Not sure what uh, game volume's like. Actually turn on the in-game music. For once. Gotta be careful of these Nautilus hooks. Q is a little chain thing on this champion. E is a dash and then you can recast it. Wow, okay dude. Recast it to throw out a chain, which stuns. Okay, not gonna burn flash though, because I'm just dead. But we did get two. We did pick up two kills. I think we're probably gonna go Rift Maker this game, just because we have the Swain ult. We're gonna go Rift Maker, Realize. We're just gonna completely build around the Swain ult because our cooldown. Gonna be very similar to Swain Alt cooldown, so we can just keep nabbing it over and over. We're gonna max W first for even more healing. If they don't buy anti healing, uh, they're in for a world of pain. I missed my. I didn't click W on the Renata there, she would have been dead for sure, but I whiffed it. Which is unfortunate, but it happens, we're only human. Don't worry, my dude. We're all good. We're going to wait for J4 to come in. He can get a pretty big engage off of them. Fairly certain we can probably kill quite a few of them here. Never mind. This guy's doing a lot of damage to me, and he is going to continue to because he's the only AD on their team, unfortunately. Um, how can we build against this guy? I guess we could build a Frozen Heart. But again, that's just for him, and attack, uh, negating his attack speed doesn't really achieve much. Maybe we'll just get his Onyas. Wow, that flash in front. Okay. That was a good flash by Swain. Good. We're getting a bunch of assists anyway. That is perfectly fine. And good. Cool. Very nice. Good job, team. Uh, it is AP Kaiser, which I, I guess is actually okay. I didn't. I, I just see this champion as an AD champion on this. Uh, AP champion, sorry. On this game mode now, because so many people just go AP MF. For some reason, they didn't they buff it, I think, instead of nerfing it, which I thought they were going to. It's very interesting. I think they made the EAP ratio 100%, but nerf the cooldown. But when you go AP MF, you build a lot of ability haste anyway. So you usually go Leandries, and that gives you 5 per item already, right? I do not have my ult yet. Dust. 
There we go. The Swain ult's just going to be too good to pass up every time. Oh, okay. We might be able to turn this fight. She's walking up very... Very far. Very close. Not far. Okay. Arthur's passive just clears the way for us. That's very nice. Probably just sit back. Uh-oh. Yeah. That's why... Oh, no. We're all just... Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, let's just... Uh... I dodged so much. So much. That's unfortunate. Anyway, we can get our boots. Maybe, eh, actually, no, 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 no. Even though we have tenacity in runes, I think we kind of need that, unfortunately. Uh, means we're going to do less damage, but that's fine. We're just planning on being tanky frontline for our team, really. So as soon as we can pick up Swain ult again, it's... Uh, Barrier two, cool. The voids reach you long. Yes, six. <laughs> okay, he does die. Good. Twainot is nearly ready for us again. Jarvan's going to take him out, hopefully. 1Q. One 1Q one should do it. There you go. Yes, let's continue uh, with this. So this throws out chains, and then after a certain duration it goes pop, and it slows and stuff like that. This is basically an auto attack that heals you, but um, I think it can actually be cancelled by blind as well, which is interesting. Should be dodging these. And it heals you um, more if you're lower on health, which is very nice. I've already explained this one, but it's a dash. And then when you recast, you can throw out chains, which stun, knock up, and pull you to the target. And your ult steals another enemy champion's ultimate ability, which is very cool. Very awesome and very nice. So we can take Swain ult again, which is very nice. Very cool. Very awesome. Jarvan has an escape there. Any other champion would probably be a bit doomed. We are just waiting on Jarvan ult here. Going to nab Swain ult again, if I can. Yeah, we're going to wait for Jarvan ult, and then we can go in. Even though Karthus ult is an ult, I feel like it's still pretty good. Okay. No, that stopped me from getting onto them. Very, very, very nice. Very awesome. Getting stuck on Kaiser a bit there. I've got so much gold, it's fine. 
Right, Spirit Visage. I think this is just too good to give up. It gives us MR against four of their champions. This guy just has to go full damage. He has no choice. Which is kind of good. So yeah, this will help against a lot of their damage. Whilst also giving me more healing and shielding. I think he's just ulting for gold here. Not sure how much gold he gets, but it's cost as also probably quite a bit. And it also increases damage by I think it's six percent now for range. They might have they might have just kept range the same, I'm unsure. But I know they nerfed it by one percent, I know, one percent for melee champions. Yeah, there's the there's the MR. I'm gonna try and get Renata ult here, because I feel like that would be a good team fighty thing. There we go. If if Jarvan can hold them all together as well. Maybe we probably wait for that. Unfortunate. I need Swain ult, actually, I think. I, I need it to be useful at all. Unfortunately. So, I do play ARAMs mostly. I don't know if you've noticed that by the other <laughs> League streams on the channel. My, my thing is ARAMs. Um, I know Ross Boomsox was talking about a ranked ARAM at one point. And I think that would be very interesting. Uh, would I enjoy it? Yes. Would I play it? Yes. Would it be healthy for League of Legends? No. <laughs> ARAMs are already kind of toxic for some people. Every now and then you get a, a nice game where you all dance and waste your flash at the beginning, right? But then sometimes you get these absolute, you get these absolutely terrible games where there's just one person that's flaming everyone. They go 0 for 12. And it's not their fault ever, you know. That's really not doing much damage. He does have Rabadons as well. Does this guy have any MR? He does have Mercs. Okay. So we're going to go Spirit Visage probably into Royal Eyes. I'm somehow alive back here. These two heels right in the back coming up. <laughs> Probably get Nautilus, maybe? Maybe Renata again? This guy's very strong. If I can get him to auto his own team, big damage. You know what I'm saying? Can't actually take her ult right now. It's unfortunate, but we're gonna take Nautilus. Okay. We're going to look for that Lucian as, as soon as he's close and in range, it's going directly on him. He just sits in the bush and ults. That's unfortunate. Maybe I should have just put it on someone else instead. I think... I was gonna say I think we come out ahead, but our uh, misfortune flashes in, so it's whatever. It's a shame um Lucian ult doesn't reveal and 
feel like it probably should. Yeah, maybe I should just focus Renata instead. I think when I take Swain ult, I don't get all of his stacks, right? Because that's on his passive. Just gonna wait it out here. Okay, not the greatest use, I wouldn't say. We do have level 16 ult now, so it's like, what, 20 seconds? Yeah. <laughs> it gets ridiculously low cooldown. Kinda silly. Damn, that 40% uh, healing re reduction is hurting quite a lot. Okay, we can get Zonyas, I think. Because you get like 3 gold a second on ARAM, pretty much. Something like that. Actually take 5% less damage, that's nice. Oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Hang on. 70% summon spell haste, increased mana regeneration, gained experience passively... Healing effects on allies are 50% as effective. Just flat, okay. Nearby enemy minion deaths grant 6 gold, which is normal. And as a melee champion, gain some stuff. <laughs> ten, 10 bonus magic resist, which is nice. Renata ult, which is nice. And then once I use that, I can actually um, grab Swain ult afterwards, hopefully. Why does this guy hate me so much? What the shit? That was interesting. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm, I can try, man. Not sure what that flash was, honestly. So, I cannot get that, no chance. I will take their health relic though. Time to crack the upper crust. Time to crank the upper crust. I should be able to get Swain now. Waiting on Zonyas. Is everyone here? Everyone's here. We should just go in because they're gonna focus. I'm with you, Jarvan. I'm not. I'm like one man engage. <laughs> that's that's me. One man engage. You can you can hold the whole team. We've got MFO. Ooh, okay. Never mind. Sit back and poke. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Oh, 
Damn. 10,000 damage! Okay. <laughs> Demonic with uh, Swain ult will obviously make them tick, 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 and I think I kind of need that. Uh, we're going to go the pot to get even more tenacity against the ridiculous amount of CC that team has. Um, yeah. Swain ult, again, at this point in the game, is just always up for me. So I should just always take that ult. It's going to be the best ult. Us. I just need to get on that Lucian if I can. But it's very, very, very difficult to get onto. Nice. <laughs> right, how do we do this? They're just gonna sit under their turret for 20 years, I guess. We should let them push, but Dean's just gonna push the wave, so it's fine. I'm just trying to hit anyone that is that. There's five of us, dude, just like throw it into the middle of us. Oh, yeah, yeah. No! Add Zonya's in one second. My god. Just R. Uh, Damn. I mean, I have Zonyas this time, I guess. Go inside them. Yes, go inside them, Carthus. Oh, he's ready. He's basically ready. Okay, good. We got the Lucian. Ooh, big. He can just hook us and keep us under the damn turret. Nice. GG, guys. And there you go. Pretty successful Silas game. I like that a lot. I've got something special planned in the future. Um, that might be a cool idea. Um, at the minute, I can only do it against bots, but I feel like in a 1v1 scenario, it could be a very, very fun 1v1 style thing. But I'll keep you updated on that in the Discord, down in the description down below. So make sure you go and join. I have left it in a little, um, what do you call it, a link. I don't, I don't know why my book, my brain blacks out on such simple words. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Now you know all about Silas's abilities and shit and what you can do. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to honor Jarvis.